We are on the north side of the I-90 Expressway, and uh, this is a large widening project. They're widening uh, both the north and south side. And what you see behind me is a retaining wall in which uh, soil nails and shotcrete are used to stabilize the slope. Um, the area that you see the guys drilling behind me is going to end up being the face of the MSE wall. An MSE wall is uh, one of those puzzle piece walls that you typically see. Um, and, and that wall is basically held up by straps that are embedded in, in compacted stone. Well, these are uh, 33 foot uh, drill depth uh, shafts. We, uh, we place a 7 8 bar uh, in the shaft, we grout it, and those bars are capable of supporting about 20,000 pounds worth of load. So we'll drill these in a grid pattern, and um, once, the, uh, once the soil nails are drilled and grouted, we will come back and we'll cut the face of the wall. This wall tapers down into nothing to at where we're standing, but as they progress, this cut will get deeper and deeper. We will then place wire mesh and rebar and reinforce that whole area, and then we will pneumatically place concrete. So we will just spray a concrete wall. It's uh, four inches thick, and together, the soil nails and the bearing plates and nuts um, basically sandwiching in all of the wire mesh and the rebar and the concrete will perform the earth retention needed for that MSE wall. The soil nails are a lot like Tyvek's. The only difference is uh, there's no unbonded zone at the, uh, at the face of the excavation, and there's no regrouts. This is a lot more cost effective than just putting in a whole mess of, of sheet pile. Steel is expensive. The equipment and, and manpower it takes to put that steel in the ground is expensive. As you can see, we've got three guys uh, working with this gang. You've got a small tieback rig that is just drilling away. We'll let the tieback or the uh, the soil nail crew get a couple days ahead of the Shot Creek gang, and uh, right behind them, uh, we'll be spraying away. So the crew that we have here consists of uh, three pile drivers and uh, two operators. The pile driver foreman along with another pile driver are dealing with uh, adding drill steel to this uh, drill rig. Um, they're typically about 10 foot sections and they just keep on drilling in until they reach their, reach their final depth of 33 feet in this case. Um, you extract all the augers, hooking them back up. You see that there's a, a uh, 150 operator running the tieback rig, another 150 operator uh, assisting the drill steel in a small mini excavator and uh, that is pretty much the, the drilling part of this. Uh, the grouting operation up on top, that is the third pile driver running the grout plant uh, slash grout silo. That silo contains about 50,000 pounds of just a, a powder Portland cement. We mix it with water, uh, we pump it uh, through a uh, grout pump, uh, through this hose that we're standing over, and it is tremied into the drilled shaft filling the shaft with grout from the bottom up, getting any sort of water or debris or foreign bodies out of that shaft.